Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title, this is Barnsley vs Southend match preview. Obviously, I, there's no vlog because I haven't been to the game today because we were already down at Southend. Long travel down there, didn't end up going. Because um, as you know, I can't go to every away game. I've got my tickets for Doncaster and I'm off to Walsall away, so that's two away day vlogs. A vlog coming next week against Accrington. But yeah, today, as you, as you know, we have, we've played um, Southend. We're on Sky Half 12 kickoff. Um, prior to this game, Keith Moore has been ruled out for the rest of the season, which is very disappointing. He did go off against Gillingham with a very bad head bang. We were ruled out for between two and four weeks, and then, due to medical advice, he's out for the rest of the season, which is obviously disappointing. Our top goal scorer, but as you know, I can talk about this game because it was on Sky, so I watched it, so I can go into more deep, pretty like more deep detail on each of the goals. So I've just watched it. As you know, by the scoreline. We were beating 3 0, a great performance. We, the Reds fans did take 460 down there prior to yesterday. There might have been a couple more, but it was about 460, I do believe. We did beat them 3 0. The team we went with, we had Davison Net, we had the usual back four of Cavare, Pinnock, Lindsay, and Pinnios at left back. Then we played with, it said a 4 3 3, but it looked more like a 4 1 4 1, with the wingers getting more attacky. They were Dougal. McGeen and Mowat in the middle, but Dougal were more sitting. Then we have Brown to right, TM to left, and Collywood up front. The first half an hour, there was one little chance from TM who ran through. He could have squared it to, I think it were Mowat, he could have squared it to or McGee, one of the two, but he shot and he dragged it wide. There was also another chance by Carly Woodrow where Brown, I think it was Brown or Cavari on that right hand side, squared it back to Woodrow. He hit it across the goal, but the keeper saved it. They want enough power. But the main event in the first half was the red card by Brown. If you haven't seen it, the highlights will be up. You'll be able to find it unless you unless you've already watched it. Um, my opinion on the red card is the initial tackle, like how he fouls the player isn't a red card because the player falls over his legs and he actually wins the ball if you watch it closely but he goes in with his studs straight up and as you know if the refs see the studs up it's a straight red card so I fully understand that um, I did feel a bit bad for Brown as he's been playing lately he just won the EFL Young Player of the Month for January so that would disappoint him but yeah he ended up getting set, sent off and I thought after that it wasn't going to be a good day because we missed a couple of chances in the first half and we're going into half time with 10 men. But in the second half, what can I say? No offence to Southend, but they looked like they had 10 men in the second half. We came out, we changed a few things. We made a couple of. We made. We went 1 0 up with Cameron McGeehan. The ball came in, it, it like bounced up. And McGeehan turned away and went to duck, but it bounced off his back. Somehow we had time to turn round, get it, shoot before the Southend defenders did out his shot. Dragged it in bottom corner, 1 0 to Barnsley. We ended up making a sub. Mike Barre came on for Mamadou TM. Barre moved over to the left hand side where TM was. Um, I think it was Mowat in the middle, won the ball. Wick out attacked. Barre got the ball. I thought it was a bad pass when he did it, but he played through Woodrow. And if you watch the goal, guys, it's a really good goal. First time finishing to the bottom corner, celebrating in front of the fans. It was a really good finish by Woodrow. Then we ended up bringing. Jordan Green and Adam Jackson on. Green went on to the right, but then switched with Barre. So Barre were on the right and Green were on the left. And then Jackson, just to give him a bit of the game time. We were 2 up at this point. We hadn't scored many goals. Um, we hadn't had many games, sorry. Brought Woodrow off, I do believe. And he put, because Dougal came off the pitch for Green, I think. And then he brought Woodrow off and Jackson sat in front. So Jackson got a bit of game time because he does deserve a bit. He's a good defender. But obviously, Lindsay and Pinnock are our main centre backs. But anyway, like I say, we another counter attack. They they made a couple of subs earlier on, before we made it two 0 I do believe, and they went for a three five two, pushing to get the equaliser while we had ten men when we were only one 0 up. I do believe, but like the second goal, we counter attacked. Uh, Barre running through, he did a bad touch and messed it up. He tried to play it through. He de their defender running back, kicked it. And McGee and run through and nicked it. He was like really tight with him and keeper. He went to like nick it by a keeper, but keeper saved it. Went up in air and dropped for Jordan Green, who banged it in back at net to make it 3 0 in the 90 plus third minute. So overall, to say we had 10 men, 3 0 is a very good result. Um, once we went, like I say, once we went ten, to 10 men and it went to half time, I thought we've got a good chance of messing this up because Southend are not a bad team, but we just. 
We just overtook the game in the second half. We were the better team. We deserve to win. It's a very good win away from home against them in the league. It does put us now on 70 points. We're now five points clear of Sunderland, but they're playing today soon. You know, they, will, they, will play, they will be playing by the time you see this video, I guess. They're five points behind with two games in hand, so hopefully they slip up today. And we're now two points behind Luton, but they've got to play today. So if they slip up, it's tight. It's tight up there. Good win today. We've got Accrington next week. Obviously, Jacob Brown is going to miss Accrington, Sunderland and Doncaster. I'm, I'm going to be vlogging all them three games, so three big games coming up. But yeah, so McGeehan, Woodrow and Green, the score was another 3-0 win. Um, a really good clean sheet as well. Good to get three goals to say we hadn't scored in our last two without Kiefer Moore, but it proves we could, we've still got goal scoring in that team without Moore. Shame to see him not there. I could definitely put money on us going in the top two if we still had more, but it's going to be very tight now. I, In personal opinion, before today's game, I thought we were going to slip out after the two two games not scoring, but hopefully we can get second place or even first. You never know. Miracles can happen, but we'll take it game by game. Accrington next week. Come on, you Reds. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time.